Welcome children. Today's topic is the Battle of Plassey. The beginning of the British political sway over India may be traced to the Battle of Plassey in 1757. This battle was fought between English and Sirajudola. The English forces were led by Robert Clive, Mirza for the commander-in-chief of the Nawab and the last section of the Nawab's army did not take part in the battle. Jagat said the richest banker of Bengal also refused to help the Nawab. Sirajudola was defeated, captured and killed. The Battle of Plassey is an important landmark in the history of India. It marked the establishment of British rule in India. The British got a foothold from where they were to eventually conquer the whole of India. Mirza Fur became the Nawab, new Nawab of Bengal, but he was a mere puppet in the hands of the British. They demanded more money from the new Nawab. The company got the territory of 24 Parganas and his official got more than 30 million rupees from the Nawab. It boosted British prestige. The sources of Bengal helped the English to defeat the European rival, the French and the Dutch. The Battle of Plassey laid the foundation of the British Empire in India and paved the way for British mastery over the whole of India. When Mir Zafar could not pay anymore, he was replaced by Mir Qasim for making him Nawab. Mir Qasim rewarded the British by granting them the right to collect taxes from the districts of Vardhavan, Midnapur and Chittagong. Mir Qasim tried to free himself from British control. He dismissed the officials of his court who favoured the British. He began to strengthen his army. He hired European mercenaries to train his army in the new technique of warfare. He, took, he also took the drastic step of abolishing all duties on internal trade so that both British and the Indian merchants could trade on equal terms. Battle of Baksar it was fought between the British on one side and Mir Qasim Shah Alam and Shuja Uddaula on the other. Mir Qasim was an able, efficient and strong ruler, determined to free himself from foreign control. He improved both the financial condition of the kingdom and administration and raised a modern and disciplined army. All this was not to the liking of the British. The British merchants carried on private trade without any duties. They began to abuse this privilege. They sold their permits to the Indian merchants who also began to carry on duty-free trade. The Nawab abolished all the duties and deprived the British of their illegal profit. This enraged the company officials. At the same time, they began to oppress and ill-treat the officers of the Nawab and the poor people of Bengal. There could, there could not exist two masters in Bengal. Mir Qasim was defeated in a series of battle in 1763 and fled to Awadh. He formed an alliance with Suja Uddala and Shah Alam. The three Indian monarchs clashed with the company's army at Baksar on October 22, 1764, but were badly defeated. Mir Qasim fled away and was never heard of again. Suja Uddala and Shah Alam surrendered and the war came to an end by the Treaty of Allahabad in 1765. The Nawab of Awad had to pay a huge war indemnity of 50 lakh rupees to the company and seize the districts of Kora and Allahabad. These districts were handed over to Shah Alam. Shah Alam granted the Diwani of Bengal, Bihar and Orissa to the company. The British promised him a pension of rupees 26 lakh a year. This battle was is very important in the history of India. It completed the war begun by the Battle of Plassey and made the British company a sovereign power in India. And with this, I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.